It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for another edition of BCTV's Weekly Media Roundup 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden. Tonight's host, I'll take you through the next 15 minutes into the regularly scheduled 6 o'clock news, the December holiday seasonal winter edition of 545 Live, where we'll talk about all this snow that's been coming down. Also talk about a new marijuana dispensary approved for Putney Road this week. Uh, remember the Newtown, Connecticut shootings now one year past. Plus, we've got a Channel 10 report that'll go uh, in-depth on a number of things that I wrote down for myself here on the laptop, like uh, the latest controversy from last night's uh, town school board meeting, also what you need to know about the I-91 Route 30 closings and detours and how they could affect your ride home. There'll be much more in there as well, including a visit to our downtown studios from the BHS TV news team. We'll get their weather report and plenty more. It's all going to be jam-packed into 15 minutes, so stick with us right here on 545 Live. Welcome back to this December 20th, 2013 edition of 545 Live. A look at some of the snow that came down this past weekend and throughout the week with a Tuesday into Wednesday storm that backed up traffic in downtown and made for some uh, pretty uh, winter wonderland footage here in the downtown region added to the uh, white Christmas fund here. For more on uh, the snowy week that we had here, we're going to turn to our latest feature, a partnership with the Brattleboro Reformer, who's now equipped each and every one of their uh, photographers and reporters with a tout.com direct upload channel online so they can post videos from the field as they report on the go. You can check out uh, these uh, 10 to 50 second videos uh, to follow up on and then uh, read the in-depth articles and see the full resolution photographs at reformer.com or by picking up a paper on a newsstand. Uh, the Reformer's uh, photographer Kayla Rice was out gathering footage of the storm this past Tuesday. Let's roll that tout.com clip. And speaking of uh, this tout.com channel from the Reformer, some excellent footage here uh, as the Reformer's Chris Mays managed to uh, land an impressive track shot of local shop owner Pete Ripley and Eastover resident uh, Sloan Forstrom as they were riding the newly opened Nitro Trail at Mount Snow this week. That's what we're rolling here. Again, tout.com slash brat reformer. You don't even need the old borough, just brat reformer. Uh, you can follow along with reformer reporters as they report from the field on the go, uploading videos uh, as they're out, uh, gathering uh, information for the stories you'll later see uh, in the paper and at reformer.com. All right, next up in a six to one vote this Monday, Brattleboro's Development Review Board approved plans to open the state's fourth medical marijuana dispensary on Putney Road by the property formerly occupied by the Stakeout Restaurant. Southern Vermont Wellness, an offshoot of the Burlington-based medical marijuana retailer Champlain Valley Dispensary, received a state license in October to distribute medical marijuana. And while the DRB was a vote short of unanimous, proprietor Shane Lynn told the reformer this week that he was surprised by the lack of resistance during his presentation at Monday's regular DRB meeting, a presentation that happened uh, for BCTV's cameras, as each and every one of Brattleboro's Development Review Board meetings is recorded and played back on BCTV Comcast Channel 10 and available to stream uh, online at brattleborotv.org or watch a clip of right now during 545 Live. One of the challenges that we confronted as a planning office how to affirmatively issue a permit for, for, a, for a business activity that didn't conform to any of the definitions in the zoning ordinance, but also had explicit restrictions as part of the licensing uh, framework from the Department of Public Safety. It's a small office. Uh, we will be dispensing medical uh, marijuana there. And other uh, items may be dry flowers, tinctures, edibles, other wellness products. No cultivation there. Cultivation occurs in Chittenden County. 
You can stream Monday's full development and review board meeting, which includes uh, the approval for a new marijuana dispensary on Putney Road in Brattleboro. You can stream it all at brattleboro.tv.org. Now for more following up on this story as we sort through uh, all the latest headlines as it regards medical marijuana, uh, the decriminalization of marijuana, and some uh, have hypothesized the impending legalization of marijuana in the state of Vermont, plus uh, changes at the federal level with the Department of Justice uh, announcing their hands-off approach to marijuana enforcement in states that have already passed decriminalization or uh, even legalization laws. It's all a complex jumble of uh, theories. For more now, we bring in the latest member of our 545 Live team. He's also the TV personality star behind uh, the weekly half-hour live program. Let's talk about mental health. And a good personal friend of mine, Robert Stack, joins us now. Robert, thanks for uh, sitting in in our downtown studios doing the uh, looking at joint monitors here as you join us from Studio B. There's obviously a lot of talk about uh, the implications for marijuana. Uh, take us through the legislature's role in this, something that you got a first-hand look at when you traveled north last year to uh, give your input on, uh, the, at that point, what was the debate over decriminalization, which the governor signed earlier this 2013 year. Yeah, and I think, you know, I think you're right. I mean, I, and one of the things that's sort of worrisome for me is that it's now it's it's almost as if you're getting your your uh, liberal <laughs> approval. In other words, you're a liberal Democrat or you're liberal if you're for pot legalization, <clears throat> and you know, and it satisfies the progressive wing of the party. You know, as if all the progressives are potheads, and therefore you know we'll give them that. And it's hard to imagine when I go up to Montpelier. You know, it was. You know, people were talking about last year, it was a done deal. It was like somebody saying, well, why don't we legalize pot and then we'll tax it and then we'll use the tax dollars to support mental health services. And I mean, really, it's sort of like, well, who would argue with that? You know, it's like, uh, it's the same thing with, with gambling. Um, well, we're going to have a lottery and that way we'll pay education. Well, you should pay education anyway. But, and I think the gambling is a good example. When I was a kid growing up, if you wanted to play a number, you had to know a bookie. I mean, if you wanted to gamble, you had to know somebody or go to Las Vegas or something. It was not something that many people did. And now everybody gambles. There's this lottery tonight, $500 million or whatever it is, a half a billion dollars. Everybody has numbers. They have tags. They have two a day, one a day, four games. I mean, the gambling, people will gamble if they have opportunity and it's sanctioned by the state. When it was illegal, people did not gamble. There are people who don't do illegal things. I know that's hard to believe for some folks, but it's the truth. And they don't do things that are difficult or a pain in the neck to do. Robert Stack, our current affairs analyst, adding a healthy dose of opinion to uh, our otherwise opinion limited uh, on staff uh, response here on 545 Live. You can also see Robert as he joins area psychiatrist Nels Kloster for a half hour live program each and every week uh, dubbed Let's Talk About Mental Health. Moving on, the hottest topic on the Brattleboro Town School Board's agenda all fall has been the case of Academy School teacher Lauren Ashley, who filed before the board a grievance after a 37 day absence last year led to WSCSU Superintendent Ron Staley requiring an independent fitness for duty exam before allowing Ashley to return to the classroom this year with Ashley's accrued sick time on the line uh, to cover the otherwise unpaid absence. But despite the continuation of some very heated and open debate during several of the board's open meetings this fall, members voted five to zero against her grievance last night, despite agreeing to keep their personnel issue heavy discussion as part of the public record. Paid sick leave days may be used for a teacher's illness or medical attention. So the, the language there would would, would indicate to me paid sick leave days may be used, in, inferring that it's, they're, they're at the discretion of the employee, not the employer. So on the question as to whether this um, step three grievance is um, uh, granted or denied, I'll ask you each to vote. Uh, Mr. Yost? Denied. Mr. Skull? Denied. Ms. Taylor? Denied. Mr. Truhan? Denied. I vote denied. Get the full picture on Lauren Ashley's highly controversial grievance before the Brattleboro Town School Board by watching each and every one of the meetings this fall. You can stream them in their entirety far beyond uh, the brief piece covered in that sound bite there. So you can get the, uh, the full picture by streaming those meetings at brattleborotv.org. There's also a series of Commons News articles uh, that you can follow up on with Brattleboro's weekly independent paper. All those articles are archived on their website, commonsnews.org. And our former article this week on the topic as well. So plenty of ways to find out more information than the little bit we've touched on here. 
All right, uh, back into the stories we go. Moving on, last weekend marked a year since a deadly shooting in the Newtown, Connecticut school of Sandy Hook led to the deaths of six adults and 23 children, all below the age of 12, sparking a fierce, fierce national debate over the ever controversial topic of gun reform, something a group of Vermont residents took to heart enough to form their own organization, now dubbed Gun Sense Vermont, a group headed up by founder and organizer Ann Braden, who's taken to the streets with her message of increased practicality within Vermont's arguably lenient gun safety system, speaking before an impassioned group at uh, a one-year vigil for the Newtown shootings held at Pliny Park this past weekend, and explaining the group's simple, albeit controversial, stance on gun reform in the Green Mountain State. That was something she was in BCTV's downtown studios to hash out this past weekend week as well, sitting down with Wyndham District 4 at Mike Merwicki for a special in-studio Montpelier connection, looking at the legislators' next moves when it comes to gun control in a state that prides itself on a hands-off hunting and self-protection culture approach. It's been 365 days and there's still so much raw emotion. It was such a horrible tragedy that it didn't matter what state someone lived in or what house. It's been really inspiring to see how um, enthusiastic the response is, you know, in talking to people and, you know, we've, so we started as an organization in what March and now we have um, over 2,000 people uh, across the state and and it's, I mean grassroots is it's not easy <laughs> work but it is I mean talking to people who are committed about this issue and feel like there is middle ground you know that we can make progress on this and I just have so much hope that you know as a state we can really be a leader of like we can be pro gun and pro responsibility that will show all this coming week on bctv channel 10 now speaking of things showing on bctv we'll be taking a week off here at the station which means a back-to-back -back, uh, christmas style edition of programming coming out especially on channel 8 where we'll put all of our seasonal programming including a brand new slate of holiday greetings from downtown business owners this is all courtesy of building a better brattleboro who sponsored uh, pulse of brattleboro star and bctv board member Daryl Pillsbury to go around and gather uh, shots of area business members wishing everybody a safe and happy holiday. Let's take a, a look. Happy, happy holidays, holidays from, from Brattleboro Bicycle, Bicycle Shop. Shop. Hi, I just want to say happy holidays from Byron at In The Moment Records. Happy holidays from Gallery in the Woods on Main Street, Brattleboro. Happy, happy holidays, holidays from, from the shoe tree. tree. Happy holidays from Jasmine Day Spa. We're located in the High Grove parking lot. Happy holiday from Thai Bamboo. Happy Holidays from the Works, located in downtown Brattleboro, Vermont. Happy, Happy Holidays from Salon Jackie. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays from Boomerang. We're at 12 Elliott Street in Brattleboro. Come on down, See get some soon. stuff. <laughs> Before I let you go here for the weekend and get out there to uh, maybe get some last minute Christmas shopping done or something like that, there's a bevy of holiday themed events going on in the area and for more on that I'll turn it over to myself that's right i also host it each and every week on thursdays a live interactive video calendar feature from bctv all sponsored by the brattleboro savings and loan get to stand up in front of bctv's giant video wall and reel off some of the area's events in the form of an interactive look that includes spotlight video and clickable links let's roll it BCTV's Roland Boyden here, set to welcome you to a two-week uh, double-dose edition of our video calendar, all sponsored by the Brattleboro Savings and Loan, taking an interactive look at the weekend's upcoming events. This time we'll go all the way through Christmas and New Year's here. Uh, from this here Thursday, uh, December 19th edition of the calendar and talk a little bit about some seasonal events like the holiday classic performance, The Nutcracker, from the Brattleboro School of Dance, who uh, have not one but four performances at NEYT on Flat Street in downtown Brattleboro starting on Friday the 20th and Saturday the 21st with evening showings at 7 p.m. And you've also got over here on Sunday, uh, not one, but two matinee performances at 1 and 5 p.m. That's enough shameless self-promotion. I'll let you get out there and enjoy this holiday uh, weekend. Stay safe out there. Hope you get some Christmas shopping done. In the meantime, we'll see you in a coming 2014 year. Thanks for watching. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays from Brattleboro Bicycle, Bicycle Shop. Shop. One more time. All right, we'll do another one. Oh, sorry. Happy holidays from Brattleboro Bike Shop. Oops. Let's try again. Okay, have a good day.